Well, hello there. I'm Lawrence. Just in case you didn't know. Today, I'm going to do something different. Are you ready? Because I am. Why do people think revolution is so easy? Here I am, sitting in a city that's part of a larger whole, part of an organ. Society is one organism, and I am but a lung. Oh, the people, they revolted and they thought, oh, you know, I'll just give up everything of the past and it'll be fine. But no, I look on the streets and people are sad, people are gloomy. Oh, what was Okay, me? well, let me interject in your sob story, Emil. I, I can understand why you think that revolting is a bad thing. I can understand it. As a bourgeois person, undoubtedly you are, you feel that revolution is against your own interest. And you frame society as some the organic thing, a being, um, because you see yourself as being represented. But what about those who don't? Now, admittedly, I, you know, I'm not a proletarian, someone without any, um, you know, means to subsist other than their own freedom by which they have to labor for people like you. But I do see that one day all of the proletariat will get together and revolt against people like you and your discipline, which isn't created yet. Now, now, the two of you, way too much fighting, Carl and Emil. Way too much fighting. <sighs> Emil, I really sympathize with what you have to say about society being like a, a human itself. And Carl, I think it's a little bit nasty of you to say that uh, Emil thinks that society is him and he is society and everyone like him needs to be revolted against. I see both sides. I see that society is the product of human endeavors and it endows us with capacities that we may not even know we have. But at the same time, once constructed, I mean, take where we live and it, it can take on a life of its own, as you say, you know, Emil is sui generis reality, but that doesn't have to be good. I mean, Sure, while the Protestant ethic remains, people may really enjoy this, but what about when industry takes over that religious spirit? And then why will people work? What will they be doing things for? I don't know, but people crave meaning, and this could turn out badly. Okay, well, I've heard what you both have to say, and nonsense. To you, Carl, you are just so deluded. It's because of people like you that I exist and I form sociology. I use Kant instead of my influence instead of Hegel. You nonsense, you leave that out of the, dis out, of, out of the universe. I don't even know what I'm saying, I'm so mad. Um, you, you think, uh, oh, people will somehow all come together um, and they will unite against what? against the very thing that gave them the capacity to revolt? You deluded, deluded. And Weber, oh, Max, I should call you, I guess. You, uh, you know, you have some element of sense, unlike Karl. You, know, you talk about bureaucracy and, you know, you, you discuss how it uh, generates our capacities. So the people living in a rationalized society, although, of course, you're right, uh, they cast off religion too quickly. With bureaucracy, they do have the capacity, at least, uh, to function as a full society. But I don't know why you think that necessarily has to lead to people living in an iron cage. I mean, why can't bureaucracy become the new religion? 
maybe we have something to talk about because you're, you're right. Bureaucracy may have replaced religion too quickly. You know, that was my point when I was talking about the French Revolution, that people were casting off prior ways of being too quickly. How dare you call me delusional? What do you, what do you, you don't even know what you're saying. Of course this will happen. Of course this will happen. It just has to. It's an unfolding dialectical relationship. Once you have exposed the essence of the exploitation of the masses, they will be forced. Once they see that they are so chained in their freedom, they will have no choice but to revolt. Now, now, well, all I can say at this point is I guess we have to agree to disagree, Emil. And Carl, you and I share a similar passion of being slightly pessimistic. Um, you're more optimistic in terms of how people can come together. I don't really know if I think that will happen. Um, but Emil, I definitely agree that we should discuss these issues. Well, okay, you know what? Further. If you two are just going to bromance, then I have to really tell you, Emil, you are a nonsense machine. And I hope sociology does not ever become created. Now, now. Okay, well, fine. If that's how you're going to be, then I'm going to go. Emil, out! Now, now. I don't know how to leave the room. What's his deal? I'm just being a philosopher. Now, now. Well, you two both need to mature.